Hi, entertain Inita 3000 here. For this match, all the videos that I'm gonna upload will be back to school videos. That means the videos will be made for kids. No more videos will be back in April. So for for so for just this month i'll just upload made for kids videos <clears throat> so anyway enjoy enjoy the video and the rest of them bye bye <laughs> Hi, I'm Buzzy the Knowledge Bug. Welcome to the airport. This is a very busy place. People coming and going, planes landing and taking off. Helicopters, seaplanes, jet airplanes, hangars. There's so much to explore at the airport, so let's get going. A crate is a heavy-duty box made of long, thin, wooden slats. Crates come in many sizes and are often used to hold big items, like furniture. Helipad. A helipad is a flat landing surface made especially for helicopters. The helipad often has a big H on it, so the helicopter pilots can see it more easily from the sky. Skids. Bell Jet Ranger 2. The Bell Jet Ranger 2 is a five-passenger helicopter. Its fuselage measures about 31 feet. It doesn't have a wing-to-wing -wing measurement because it doesn't have wings. But because of how far its long top rotor and small back rotor stick out, the Jet Ranger actually is over 38 feet long. Its rotor blades can move the helicopter through the air at speeds up to 134 miles an hour. The two runners on the sides of the helicopter are called skids. They let the pilot land smoothly on flat or bumpy surfaces. The rotor blades of a helicopter spin around or rotate to lift the helicopter into the air. Because the helicopter has rotor blades instead of wings, it can fly straight up into the air and can turn easily. Rotor blades allow helicopters to hover, which means they can stay in one place above the ground. Like the windshield on a car or truck, the windshield on an airplane keeps wind, rain, and snow out of the cockpit.
The tail rotor is a set of small rotor blades on the tail of the helicopter. They help turn the helicopter while it is in flight. They also keep the helicopter from spinning around and out of control when the main rotor blades are turning. Pilot seat, headset. A headset is a device that is held against the ear by a headband. It sends and receives telephone and radio messages. Workers in the tower use headsets to talk to the pilots as they fly in and out of the airport. Wearing the headset leaves the workers' hands free for other jobs. The pilot seat is where the pilot sits to operate the controls and fly the plane. The joystick lets the pilot control the pitch or tilt of the helicopter's rotor blades. By tilting the blades in different directions, the helicopter will go up, go down, or hover in one place. The joystick is also called the collective pitch control. Airspeed indicator. Altimeter. A chain link fence is made of heavy steel wire. It is used to keep people and animals out of certain places. Since it is not solid, it's easy to see what's on the other side of the fence. Clouds are tiny drops of water or ice that stay together in the sky. The drops are so small that they aren't heavy enough to fall from the clouds. When they grow bigger and heavier, the drops fall as rain or snow. When water freezes around falling snow, the snow turns into hail. Ducks are birds that can swim. They have webbed feet to help them swim and dive for food. Their bodies are covered with lots of soft feathers to keep them warm and dry when they swim in cold lakes and ponds. Ducks usually have large flat bills too and short legs. We often call them both ducks, but really only the female is a duck. The male is called a drake. The floats on the bottom of the seaplane keep it from sinking. They also make it possible to take off and land on water instead of a runway. Some airplanes use blades called propellers to move forward. The propellers are driven by an engine that makes them spin very quickly. The shape of the propeller is designed so that as it spins, it pulls the plane through the air.
wing. Tail. Boga, boga, boga. Hi. A dock is a walkway that goes from the shore out over the water. Seaplanes park at the dock so that passengers can get on and off without getting wet. A dock is also called a wharf or a pier. Oil drums store oil, which is used to lubricate or grease parts on the plane. Lubrication makes parts slippery so they turn and slide easily. This makes them work better and last longer. Roll up door. Helicopters fly with the help of blades or rotors that spin around. Helicopters are very good for doing many jobs, especially lifting and lowering things straight up and down. Helicopters can easily move heavy crates. They are also used to rescue people who are lost at sea, or stuck on a mountaintop, or in a flood. A roll-up door rolls up instead of swinging open from the side. It is on a track so that workers can roll it up and down with ease. Roll-up doors are used when the door has to be kept out of the way. A hangar is a place where airplanes are parked to be cleaned or repaired. Hangars are like great big garages for airplanes. Airplanes have been around for less than 100 years. The first planes were almost all made of cloth and wood. Today, planes are made of metal and plastic. Airplanes are heavier than air but can fly because of their propellers or jet engines. Both jets and propeller planes are called airplanes. Planes have large wings and a long body called the fuselage. At the back of the plane is the tail, where the fin and the tail planes are. Bell Jet Ranger 2. Seaplanes can be used as commuter planes. The Cessna single engine seaplane has a propeller in its nose that can let the plane reach speeds up to 185 miles per hour. The plane measures 27 feet from nose to tail and over 35 feet from wingtip to wingtip. It has seats for up to six passengers. Streets are used by people when they drive their cars, bicycles, trucks, buses, and motorcycles from one part of a city to another. In some places, even horses and buggies can be seen on the street. Sometimes parades and races are held on city streets. Sidewalk.
A sidewalk is a path that has been built for people so they can safely walk alongside a street or road. Sidewalks are usually made of cement, but can also be made of bricks or stones. A crosswalk is a special lane marked across a road that shows the best place to cross the street. When people are in the crosswalk, cars and other vehicles must stop. This rule helps people walk safely to the other side of the street. People who walk on sidewalks and across crosswalks are called pedestrians. There's a lot of activity going on at the terminal. This is where passengers find out when a flight is leaving or arriving, where they need to go to get on the right plane, and which way they should go to get their luggage. Passengers can also buy tickets, books and magazines, and even meals inside the terminal. Control Tower the control tower is where the air traffic controllers work. They are the people that tell the pilots which way to go when they're landing or taking off from the airport. The control tower is always up high at the airport, and it always has windows on all sides. This way, the people working inside can easily see where all the airplanes are. The Airbus Industries A310 is a commercial jet. It is over 153 feet long from nose to tail and measures 144 feet from wingtip to wingtip. Its engines can run the plane as fast as 556 miles per hour, although for long trips it usually goes no faster than 515 miles per hour. The A310's cabin is big enough for 210 to 265 passengers depending on how many seats are put in. Cars are a handy way to get from one place to another. They come in lots of different shapes and colors. Some small cars can only carry two people. Big cars have room for several people. Cars can also carry luggage, groceries, or boxes in the trunk. Another word for car is automobile. A curb is the edge of the sidewalk, where the sidewalk meets the street. The trunk is a roomy place in a car, usually in the back for holding things. An extra tire, called a spare, is usually found in the trunk in case the car gets a flat tire. Luggage, boxes, shopping bags and groceries are often carried in the trunk of a car. Awning, curbside check-in. When passengers are dropped off at the airport, it's handy to check in at curbside check-in. They can check their baggage so they don't have to carry it with them through the airport. They can also check in for their flight. An awning is a little roof, usually made of cloth, that can be rolled up or down. Sometimes there are awnings over the curbside baggage check area at the airport. The awning shades the sidewalk by blocking the hot sun. It also protects the passengers and airport workers from rain and snow.
Behind every airline ticket counter is the customer service agent. This person can sell tickets, check in luggage, arrange for seating, and look up information on other flights. The hand truck is a useful device to move crates and parcels. The hand truck has a flat platform at the bottom with two wheels on one side of the platform. The hand truck also has a vertical support with a handle on it. When a sky cap or baggage handler wants to move an object, they slide the hand truck's flat platform underneath and lift the hand truck back. With the object now above the ground, the hand truck rolls around on its two wheels. Sky cap. A sky cap is a worker at the airport who helps passengers with their luggage. The sky cap carries the luggage, puts a baggage ticket on it with the passenger's flight number, and makes sure it gets to the right airplane. Are your flights really non-smoking? All flights are non-smoking. People often take their dogs with them on trips, even to the airport. When dogs or other animals travel by airplane, they ride in a special container called a pet carrier. This container keeps them safe and comfortable during the flight. A trunk is usually larger than a suitcase and has stiff square sides. Like a suitcase or duffel bag, it's used to carry things while traveling. A duffel bag is a cloth suitcase shaped like a tube. Duffel bags come in all sizes, but most have a shoulder strap for easy carrying. Suitcases are one type of luggage. A suitcase is used to hold clothes, shoes, books, toys, and other important things that people pack and take on trips. Unless very small, suitcases should be given to the person behind the ticket counter or at a curbside check-in instead of carried on the plane. <laughs> A bus takes people from place to place. It travels on roads, but it is bigger and longer than a car and has lots of seats inside. People pay money called a fare to ride the bus. Buses usually travel from one place to another at the same time along the same streets every day. This is called a bus route. The toll gate is where drivers stop to pay their toll. When the toll has been paid, the gate lifts up so the driver can go through. <laughs> 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 
Pigeons are birds that are often found in parks and in parking lots. Pigeons make a cooing sound, have short legs, round little bodies, and they wobble when they walk. Pigeons prefer building their nests in protected areas, like under bridges, roofs, or inside buildings. 